and I'm a chaplain at St. Mary's Hospital and Care Center in Madison, Wisconsin. I'm also a certified yoga therapist. Welcome to the Wake Up program. This program is designed to help you raise your energies and balance your energies in preparation for the day. Before we get started, there are a couple things to know. Sometimes when we learn yoga, we might have thoughts, feelings, or sensations that come up that feel a little bit uncomfortable. This program is designed to help you build the skill of being with those thoughts, feelings, or sensations in a way that's safe and comfortable. So if you feel a little uncomfortable, it's probably okay. But if you have overwhelming feelings, thoughts, or sensations, especially if you have overwhelming anxiety, or if you feel triggered in any way, it's a good time to quietly get up and seek out a staff member or yoga professional who can speak with you about your experiences during this session and help you plan for how you will practice in the future. Now let's get started. Today's practice is Tai Chi, Qigong. Before we get started, let's do a couple breathing exercises to raise our energies and prepare for the practice. You may have already experienced our basic breathing exercise, which is called normal exhale, but let's review. If you'd like, close your eyes or soften your gaze and bring your attention to the exhale. And just allow your exhale to move through to its natural completion, however long that takes. You don't need to change the quality of your breathing. It can be fast or slow or deep or shallow or any way that you're currently breathing. Just simply pay attention to your exhale and allow yourself a full and normal exhale. At the bottom of the exhale, you might notice a pause. Just allow yourself to have that pause. And then when you're ready, you'll naturally feel like you need to inhale. So simply paying attention to the exhale as a transition into our practice today. For our next breathing exercise, if you're wearing glasses, you may want to take them off. Take your thumb and finger and place them near your nose. Use your thumb to close off the right nostril. Inhale through your left nostril and exhale through your no left nostril at your own pace. We inhale through the left and exhale through the left for approximately a minute or eight inhalations and exhalations. At that time, we begin to switch. Inhale through the left, close off the left, exhale through the right. Inhale through the right, Close the right off, exhale through the left. Inhale through the left, close off, exhale through the right. And continue that way using your own breathing pattern.
In this exercise, it's helpful to start on the left and end on the left for the purposes of our practices today. The last practice is to make a gesture. We know that our posture and gestures affect our states of mind and our states of mind affect our posture and our gestures. So we'll make a special gesture today that helps us raise our energy for the upcoming practice. Take your hands, place them together, palm to palm. Then rotate your hands, putting the right hand in front, curl your fingers, and clasp your hands together. We'll hold this gesture for about eight breaths. If you'd like, you can soften or your gaze or close your eyes. And you can return to the breathing that we did earlier of allowing yourself a normal exhale, pause, and then inhale as you're ready. If at any time during this exercise you become uncomfortable, you can unclasp your hands and place your hands over your heart in a reassuring gesture. However, if you're comfortable, continue with the instruction. Now bring your hands palm together again and rotate your hands in the other direction, clasping your fingers together. Again, allow your gaze to be soft or your eyes to close, whatever is comfortable for you. And just breathe normally as we hold this gesture. Then you can place your hands, palms together, and then take your hands down to your side. And we'll prepare for Tai Chi. Begin by standing up nice and straight with your feet about shoulder distance apart. Make sure that your hips are in alignment, your shoulders are down and relaxed, and your head is up and back. Your chin is tightly tucked. Take deep breaths down into the belly. Bring your focus into the present moment. With loose fist, we'll begin tapping up and down on the low back, tapping the body, stimulating the kidneys in the low back area. And then with the palms, we go down the back of the legs, up the front of the legs. We end in the groin area where we have lots of lymph nodes, tapping very gently. Take a deep breath in and out. Another deep breath. Now we're going to tap up the side, doesn't matter which. You can do the armpit and again down the arms, up the back of the arm, back and forth across the shoulders and the upper neck, across the chest, and down the front of the body. Take some nice deep breaths and notice if the side that you tap feels any different than the side that you didn't tap. That's the chi. Now let's even them out up the other side, the armpit, down the arm, up the back of the arm, shoulders and the upper neck, lower neck, across the chest and down the front of the body. gentle self-massage, getting the blood and the fluids and the chi moving in the body. Take some nice deep breaths. 
We're going to bring our feet a little bit closer together and come up on the toes and drop down on the heels. This is called jumping up and down to cure 10,000 illnesses, or for short, I just call it bouncing. You can adjust the height of the bounce by how far you come up. I usually like to feel the vibration all the way up into my shoulders and then every so often throw in a bigger one. This is really good for releasing stress and congestion and stuckness in the body. Now with our feet out a little bit wider again, we're going to reach up, bend to the side, reaching up, and coming down nice and slow and easy, keeping the bend in the wrist. Gonna reach up, coming up slowly, hold the moon, reach for the stars, holding our breath at the top, hold the moon again, and then come back down nice and slow. Move as slowly and as smoothly as you can, taking nice deep breaths. Pair the movement with your breathing. If you're going faster than me or slower than me, that's perfectly fine. Whatever pace is comfortable for you but go as slow as is comfortable for you. Feel that nice stretch in the body, reaching up and then bending to the side. Breathing in as we come up, holding our breath at the top. Breathing out as we go down. Nice and slow and easy, staying in our comfort zone. Some gentle twisting. If you can, keep your hips set so you're turning more in your waist area, stretching out the belly and the back. We're looking for the twisting motion in that thoracic back, that middle back area, less in the low back and the neck don't want to torque the body. We can gently tap against the body as we twist, tapping on the liver and the spleen and the pancreas and the kidneys, stimulating those organs. This is really good for metabolism, the twisting motion. And now we're going to turn our hips a little bit like the hula hoop. Feel that nice stretch in the hips, as big as you can, and then in the other direction. Now bending over, hanging loose, lazy monkey wakes up. Ha! Deep breath in. Ha! Heart healing sounds. Ha! Back of the hands together, come on up slowly. Deep breath, big sigh of relief. Ah! At the top and then move however you need to move. Bending over, hanging loose. Ha! Ha, ha, deep breath in as you come up, big sigh of relief, oh. and then moving however you need to move. It's a good time to move the feet as well. Ha, ha, ha. Oh. And gently come back to center. And we begin with floating arms from the Vitality series. Rocking forward on the toes as the arms come up and back onto the heels as the arms go down. Breathing in as we come up, breathing out as we move down. Feeling the energy circling in the body, feeling the body relaxing, the deep breathing, the rhythmic movements, relaxing deeply, rocking ourselves. Movement starts with the legs, with the rocking in the feet, and then the arms follow. It's 
slow the movement down go as slowly as you can again matching to your breathing and whatever is comfortable for you now tree blowing in the wind bending side to side feel that nice stretch in the side this is a use it or lose it movement we don't stretch to the side that often feel the nice stretch in the arms and the shoulders and the hips the side of the leg again breathing slowly and smoothly feel your breathing slow down as your body relaxes that nice movement in the body like a tree blowing gently in the wind We come back together to the center and seed and flower coming forward like a little seed all tight in a ball and then opening wide like a flower looking up at the sun you want to get as much movement in that upper back and neck area as you can rolling the shoulders open that low lower part of the neck and the upper back can sometimes get stuck and so as gently as we can, stretching and opening the shoulders. So you use it or lose it movement, keeping that flexibility in the shoulders. Opening nice and wide like a daisy. And now reaching up and out, supporting the sky. We sink down, we come up, coming up like we're picking up a piece of the sky and then stretching up holding for a moment for the glue to stick and then coming down to pick up another piece of the sky again move as slowly as you can whatever's comfortable for you slow the movements down feel yourself relaxing feel the nice stretch in the shoulders the neck it's good for the heart and the lungs Breathing in as we come up, holding our breath at the top and breathing out as we go down. Slowing down as slowly as you can. Staying in your comfort zone. And now spontaneous Qigong, moving however you need to move. Letting your body's wisdom guide the movements. It's a great time to move our feet. You can move around the room even if you would like. Now beautiful woman, handsome man, turn their waist. Turning the big circles, loosening the hips. So the hips are set. We're turning the upper body in as big a circle as we can. Moving as slowly and as smoothly as we can. Staying in your comfort zone whatever's comfortable for you back the other direction feel that nice stretch in the hips and the low back feels so good come back to center giant bear stretches Rolling the shoulders, coming forward and down. The whole body can move, if you would like. Mimicking the natural way that we breathe. The whole body moving, massaging all the organs. You can growl like a bear if you'd like on the way down. Grrr. Big bear just woke up from his long winter nap. Nice and easy. Feel that nice stretch in the shoulders and the opening of the chest. Rolling the shoulders backward and forward. We come back to center. Peeping monkey. So we have our weight on one leg and that hand is on the back of the neck. And then the other side hand is on the low back. And then we gently switch to the other direction. Taking nice deep breaths, shifting our weight, shifting our arms from side to side. Feel that nice spinal stretch, this gentle twisting 
If you can't reach, that's okay. Wherever you can reach is good. Just imagine that you're reaching to those places. And if you can, you feel that pinging up and down of the spine with the energy strengthening the spine. Cranial sacral connection, connecting those two points. Remember to move slowly and smoothly with nice deep breaths, staying in your comfort zone. Come back to center. Bird or giant bird spreads its wings. So push the hips back and that brings you down like you're resting in your nest and then push the hips forward to come up. And open the arms as you're soaring through the sky. This one feels really good in the hips and the shoulders opening nice and wide. Feel that grounded and safetyness in our nest and then allowing from this grounded place to open our heart and let our spirit soar, pushing down to come up. Again, breathing slowly and smoothly. You can slow the movements down as comfortable as for you. Feel that nice stretch in the body, moving in the shoulders and the hips. And then come back to center, supporting the sky again. One of my favorite exercises. Feels so good. Stretch. Feels so wonderful. Nice deep breaths. You might even yawn. That's actually a good sign. Taking such deep breaths, it's uplifting the mind as the body relaxes. Nice and smooth and easy. Good for the heart and the lungs. And walking on clouds. Clouds are puffy, so we need to lift our feet up nice and high, but they're very delicate. So you put the foot down as gently as you can, as slowly as you can, working on our balance. Relaxing. You can take this into a walk if you'd like, and walk around the room. Or you can stay in one place. See how slowly you can put that foot down, really strengthening those hamstring muscles. Nice and easy. You can hold on to something if you'd like chair or the wall. We're going to point and flex our foot and then side to side, stretching out the ankle and the foot. Round in a circle and back in a circle the other way. Again, pointing and flexing. You can use the wrists as well or just the ankles. Side to side. around in a circle in one direction and back in the other direction. Now we'll do our closing movement, gathering, relaxing deeply. Standing in stillness. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this exercise series. Have a wonderful day.